Felix. Natalie is almost waking up, so let's let's do this quick, shall we? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the deck of panning project pan that I'm doing in collaboration with a lot of people, like a lot of people. This is created by Emily who got some inspiration from a booktuber about this project. If you want to know more about this project, like in depth knowing about it, you should check out Emily's intro and maybe I'm talking a little bit about it in my intro as well. Long story short, we have a deck of cards. In my case, I have my Harry Potter deck of cards. I think it's kind of cool. There are prompts based uh, around the picture cards and the S and then a game board that corresponds to the number cards. And each month Emily is shuffling the game board and I'm really excited to share with you guys that I can roll in another item. I have finished an item which is very very exciting. <laughs> so let's get into my five products and my progress and everything like that and we can choose a new item drawing from the cards. I have not seen the game board yet, so that is exciting. <laughs> Felix! Goodness gracious. There's one product that I have used like once since the last update and that is my Estee Lauder lipstick um, in like pink berry. I have used it once so you can't see any progress but I will insert a picture of how it looked like in the intro. I have used it like five or six times in total. It's not my priority apparently, but it lives in my purse that I bring where we go. And if I'm wearing makeup, I reapply with that one. So that is the one use. Um, otherwise, I have not worn makeup when we went places. Let me grab the other products and let me share with you guys the most exciting one. And that comes from my no, it doesn't. I really pressed it in here. <laughs> I rolled in a Franken blush and a Franken bronzer. I wanted to finish the Franken blush and hit pan on the bronzer. I have used the bronzer a lot, but no pan on that one yet. It is going down, so that is exciting. But can you see that shiny pan? I finished the blush. I have finished a blush. That is so exciting. I repressed and departed this blush in like June or July so in this Franken blush there was Curlista from Benefit and a little bit of Rocketure. Curlista is now officially done. She's gone. I'm very very excited to have finished a blush. My goal was to finish this and it is done. So that is what I'm going to roll I was going to say. Uh, draw, draw a new card for I'm going to draw a new card for that one. Then we have this highlighter that I have actually used a few times since last update. It is the W7 Glow Fix highlighter. This is a holographic highlighter, so it's not white, but it is blue. Before I rolled it in here, I did not want to pan it. I did not want to use it because it was a patchy blue holographic highlighter. I am finding ways to cope <laughs> with the blue tint and it's not that patchy as I remembered it being. It's okay. <laughs> it's not my favorite at all, but it's okay. And I can get some use out of it. So my four uses in total for three months. <laughs> not very good, but I'm fine. It's a joker, you know. Last time I rolled in this blush from Benefit. It is Dandelion. I set a usage goal of 20 uses because I already worked on a blush in here. And I am trying to hit pen on another blush in another project. So 20 uses for this was what I set for it. So far I have used it four times. So I have not used it every single time I wore makeup, but most of the time. The logo or imprint, dandelion imprint is definitely gone. Oh no, it's not. Not entirely. You can still see a little bit on the sides, but mostly it is uh, gone and there's like a crack in the middle. I don't know But it is a lighter blush. I have been layering this the Franken blush and the other one on top of each other and 
it's not too much at all because they are so light and not that pigmented and that is also why I could go through this Franken blush because it was loose and it was not pigmented so I could layer it like three times and you could not tell a difference and that is kind of the same thing with this one I I swipe it across my cheeks like three or four times and that makes a great pigmentation so yeah, 20 uses is going to make a good dip in this. So let's see if I can actually hit pan on it by 20 uses because I need a lot at a time. Draw another card and I'm going to shovel here on camera so you so I don't cheat, basically. I'm very excited to see the new game board. Um, a lot of people in the group has gotten the OnePlus card. Um, so I really hope I don't get that one um, and I really want something on the game board last time I got to I got the blush but I got a jack or something like that and I didn't get anything on the board so I really hope I can do that this time because that is the fun of it right okay should we just do this again Yeah, in the middle. Oh no. Yo, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was going to say that it was a picture card, but it's not. It is the Five of Spade. And that is Tom Riddle, aka Voldemort. So let's see what I get for that one. Again, I have not seen the game board, so I'm very excited to see. And of course, I'm not prepared, so I'm sorry. That was a hassle to go find. Um, so we have the five of spade. Willy, Willy. Um, I need to remember not to jinx stuff. That is a plus one. What? What? <laughs> so let's go draw two new cards. Oh my god. Tom Riddle. You just had to, right? You just had to. Okay, let's shuffle. And I'm not going to put Tom Riddle into this, okay? I'm just not. This one and this one. What are the odds that I got five of spade, like plus one? What are the odds for me jinxing it so bad? Okay, so the first one is eight of diamonds, which is serious black. And the other one is S of hearts. So a pretty graveyard is the S and the eight of diamonds is a no, I was going to see winter. Award winner. Um okay. I'm going to see if there's anything in my collection that is like Danish Beauty Award winner because I don't know about anything English or American award winning stuff like that. I have no idea if that is cheating but I can't find anything award winning in my collection. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull from the top and let's see what I get because I need to do this now and not in like a half an hour. Oh, another S. Okay. So that is also Project Graveyard. So I'm going to find two Project Graveyard items. So maybe I can find a Resurrection product and a Collecting Cobwebs item. That would be cool, right? I will be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I hope I have been smart about my options. I don't really know. <laughs> but yes. As you guys know, I drew some riddle 
aka Five of Spades, which was a plus one card. Then I drew the award winning and pretty great card, but I couldn't find any award winning, so there's two aces. And for the two aces, I chose a Resurrection product and a Calypton Cobwebs. Project Graveyard is created by Emily, as well, who created this project. And we have done it for two years, and the third round is going to be here in the end of April. I am very excited <laughs> that it is going to be here again. In there, there are two categories, Collecting Cobwebs, which are an old product that are collecting dust literally and the other category is resurrection products that have been in projects that you, did, that you didn't finish english <laughs> i'm trying to rush here so i'm sorry so let's start out with my resurrection product that i have here this is the w7 jelly crush lip scrub this is a little bit yanked because it lives in my shower but i really want to finish up this lip scrub. This is in the berries. Juicy Blast Berry. Scent of flavor, whatever you want to say about lip scrub, I really don't know. I have about half of this product left, less than half, maybe a third or something like that. I really want to finish it up. This has been hanging around uh, used for like more than a year so now it's just time to go now i'm focusing in on this one it just has to go so this is going to be the project where i finish this one okay <laughs> for the collecting cobwebs i really want to finish off my cream shadows and not have them anymore i just really want to use a glitter glue to enhance the pigment and shades and stuff like that and not to use a cream shadow because a cream shadow is actually just a swipe and then just using that one but, but because of my oily lids and hooded eyes a cream shadow is not going to work for me that way where am i going with this <laughs> i chose the w7 i dream shadow cream this is on the edge of drying up because it's old so it is collecting dust i have not used it a ton but when i wanted to pull out the stopper and see how it it was and start using it i janked the side of this yeah and the product was so dried up that i needed to add jojoba oil but i do maybe think i added too much so now i have not been using it for like one and a half months so why did i not check it i'm all over the place but hopefully it is okay i hopefully can use this in my outer corner and maybe as a base shade for my eyelid shade so yeah i really want to use this up oh, and the color is called new sensation it's a little bit oily but i do think if i just give it a good swirl it's okay i think it's going to be fine it's better than it was a few months ago so it's very very dark but as an outer corner base and all over the lid kind of base, I do think I can make this work. With my orangey warm toned shades in my Panda palette. And now it's really dark because I have layered a few times. But yeah, this is almost brand new and may seem like I have some progress. Like when I do this, there's like a window, but really it's almost brand new so i don't know what the progress is going to be like with this one i just really want to use it up and so maybe i can do that in this project so by the end of the year no matter what it is going but yeah i hopefully can use this up in one or two updates as well so i'm working on the lip scrub the cream shadow the cream highlighter the franken bronzer and the blush it is living in this right here so that's why it's not closing and the lipstick hard items yes but that's the fun <laughs> and it's random so you can't really control like the plus one card don't don't jinx it guys don't jinx it in the intro i didn't say it but i was really thinking it please don't be the joker and i got the joker in the first card so yeah i'm going to go now take some pictures of my items so i can post it on to instagram when we are updating you guys 
about this project because I do think Natalie is waking up and I'm going to have some lunch. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out the other ladies down below and Emily of course. My playlist is down below as well as all the products mentioned and my goals and everything like that. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.